Thank you, Dede. So I would like to uh, thank the organizer for the invitation. Especially, I would like to thank uh, Stefano for his hard work. So uh, uh, singular vector field, I mean uh, vector field with singularity. In fact, I will concentrate it on, on the singularity. OK, the, here is a, this is a joint work with my uh, uh, student. And this is a framework. So we uh, can see a, a, a compact manifold without a boundary, and uh, can see the uh, differentiable back fields. Uh, data were restricted to r equal to one, and uh, we we'll use this uh, uh, small uh, small phi to denote the uh, flow generated by by the back field and uh, capital phi to denote the derivative of the vector field. We always use this symbol to, to, to for just uh, for, uh, this is traditional, not, uh, okay, so we use this symbol to denote the vector field of, uh, the zeros of the vector field. We call it the singularity of the vector field. Maybe somewhat called fixed point or rest point, but we will call it the singularity of the vector field. So we we'll distinguish the periodic orbits and and uh, and uh, singularity. That means we assume we don't think singularity as a periodic orbit. So we, it's a periodic orbit. Was we we will request that it's a non singular. Okay. So we we can see the two. Uh, most dynamic, two kinds of most dynamic. The first one is the stronger one. You know, we can see the uh, open and dense subset of the of the host, uh, the the the, the, uh, the whole dynamics. Uh, and the second one is a weak. Uh, it's called generic. We can see the uh, countable intersection of open and dense subset. So we say a property is, is generic. Uh, that means it's satisfied for a uh, system in the countable intersection of open and dense subset. So the, uh, this is to uh, large uh, large part of uh, uh, the dynamic world. And uh, we will only consider r equal to one just because the, for the for r. For C1 case, we have many uh, powerful uh, uh, perturbation techniques. The first one is Frank's lemma and the closing lemma and the connecting lemmas. So we are only consider r equal to one. If r is a little bigger than one, it's, it's strictly larger than one, then all these lemmas may be, at least in the, strong, the, the strongest version of Frank's lemma is no longer satisfied. Even for the, if, for example, r equal to one plus epsilon, it will not satisfy. So it's a big problem for for a larger than one. But anyway, we, uh, uh, at the end of the talk, uh, I have to borrow some idea from from pattern theory. So I have to assume r larger than one, but uh, in a very very. Rich, uh, uh, special uh, special case. Okay, so let me talk about uh, what the uh, what the system far away from host show. What I was talking about. Uh, so this is a definition of Morse smell system. It's very very simple. It's a it's a first kind of system which is proved which is proved to be structure stable. So the long is that the long set of the system consists of only finite many critical, critical orbits. That critical orbits, uh, that means uh, uh, finite many uh, singularity and finite many of periodic orbits, of course, is uh, harmonic, <coughs> and plus the transversality. That means the uh, stable manifold of any critical points is transverse to uh, any unstable manifold. Uh, to answer method of other. So we can see that uh, this is a picture of uh, different morphism, not a picture of, 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 of a periodical orbit of flows, just for a fixed point of, uh, of different morphism. This is the 
transfers of transfers orbit of a periodic orbit. Uh, I mean, the diagram is not so easy to, to draw. So I just draw a very simple picture for the diffeomorphism case. We assume it's a fixed point, hyponic phase point. So it's a homogeneous point of, of, the, uh, of the fixed point if the, it's a, a, a transverse intersection of the, of the stable manifold of P and the unstable manifold of P. So we all know that back of Smell theorem said that transfers homoclinic orbit will lead to will lead to horseshoe, the existence of horseshoe. So what the so-called uh, density density conjecture, a kind of density conjecture panels, we call it the, the weak density conjecture. It, it claims that most system and the system with horseshoe forms open dense subset of the whole. Uh, of the set of whole dynamics, whole, whole world. So, so this part is very, very simple. It's just the consists of uh, the, the knowledge just consists of finite many uh, orbit. And this part we know since that the house show is very, very complicated. I like this kind of statement very much since it's very simple. Uh, and of course, one plus one is equal to two is also very simple, but this is not. This is the proof of uh, of such a kind, the statement is not far too far from trivial. <laughs> so the, since uh, how, as I just said, the by back of smell system, uh, back of smell theorem. Uh, uh, the transverse homogeneous orbit will imply the uh, house shield. So where in the, in this talk, uh, they are I always uh, they they play the same role in in the in the following work. So there's a parallel the parallel uh, density conjecture which I need a lot need much stronger than this one. So this is a, a so called I, I will comparing with this I call it strong density conjecture of palace. Uh, that uh, uh, that means generic system far from homogeneous bifurcation is hyponic, but uh, I will not talk too much about these conjectures. I will not go on this. I just uh, uh, I work on this uh, the first one, the weak density conjecture. But uh, uh, from the statement, uh, uh, homogeneous bifurcation means that uh, the tangency or heterodimension cycle. So, since uh, uh, both of these kind of uh, bifurcation will lead to the existence of hostile, so this the weak is weak conjecture is real weak than the strong conjecture. So, what about the progress of this density conjecture? Oh, let me. I will see more about this. I think uh, uh, Pan stated this conjecture for different morphism clearly in in. in in, in, in the paper, uh, in his paper. But I seem that he did not state this conjecture for fact fields. But since it's very, very uh, close, to, uh, at least in the spirit of uh, his density conjecture, so I, I also call this density conjecture uh, even for fact fields. It's due to Paris, but uh, not the precise statement. And for this statement, this is also if you, for uh, uh, Penn State, a uh, similar uh, conjecture for vector bills, for the uh, density conjecture. But uh, 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 in his statement, he, he, can, uh, he can see the homogeneous bifurcation of singularity. But now we only can see the homogeneous bifurcation of the periodic orbit. This is a, a difference. I think this is an essential difference from his original, uh, original statement. So in some sense, I, I strong the, uh, the, the conjecture of this statement is stronger than his original one. OK? So for, uh, this is a program for diffeomorphism. Of course, just for regularity, for, diff for C1 dynamics. That means just for C1 dynamics. So this, uh, uh, in, in, in this famous paper, Pujols and Sambrino, 
um, pro proved the strong density conjecture of planets. So as a consequence, of course, they proved the weak density conjecture. And uh, with Bolatia and Owen, we proved the three-dimensional case for weak density conjecture better for deep morbidity. At last, Gravesia uh, uh, mm, finished this story for deep morbidity case. Uh, but how about for the flow case? For the for the long singular uh, vector fields, I think they prove uh, uh, a royal and a vectoric health, uh, prove the strong density conjecture. I, or, or, although they mention the singularity in their paper, but it's essentially uh, 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 for long singular case, in, in my opinion. And uh, recent, very recently, I found a, a paper in the archive uh, uh, Xiao and then gave a, gave a, uh, in the paper they, uh, they follow the idea of Corvazia, use the central model back to the Pangre, Pangre uh, map along the section of, of the, the flow case. So this is almost a parallel to just uh, use the same idea of uh, Corvazia. Uh, the, the idea of central model. So this, uh, how about the singular case? For singular vector fields, previously, just uh, one year, maybe two years, I'm not so sure, ago, uh, with Darwin Young, oh, we proved the weak density can get for three-dimensional flow. Three-dimensional, uh, in some sense, it's very similar to the case of uh, two-dimensional uh, different morphism. So, and uh, Dave Young, uh, Carvedia with Dave Young, they, they announced the three-dimensional uh, strong density conjecture um, for three-dimensional vector fields. But uh, how about the high-dimensional case? So, so this is what I will, I would like to talk about. But uh, unfortunately, I, I did not, I did not, I could not get a very, very complete answer to the high-dimensional just the partial. Uh, result. So I have to introduce some technical things to for the statement. So first, uh, this is a so-called chain equivalence. So two point uh, chain equivalent means that for an epsilon, you can find uh, an epsilon chain from x to y and uh, and from y to x. So we denote C R the set of chain recurrent set. That means x is equivalent to itself. And uh, this like, race relation is a closed uh, equivalence relation of uh, the Chenrican set. And uh, the Chenrican, the equivalent class under this uh, equivalence relation is called, uh, I, will, uh, I will call Chenrican class or chain class or just simple class. So what I mean class means the Chenrican class. So this is, uh, Oh, okay. The, the usual way for, uh, to, for proving the weak density conjecture is as follows. So we use this uh, symbol to denote the set of MS to denote the set of most smell system and HS to denote the set of system with hostile. So, if, if, uh, so this is a proof by contradiction. So I assume this weak density conjecture is not true. If, you, if the weak density is not true, then we can take a system outside the, the, the closure of a small smell, small smell system and the system of hostile. We can take a generic system, that means C1 generic system, and, and then we, we can find a long trivial chain class, sorry. This is repeated, sorry. We can find a non-trivial chain class. Non-trivial means it, it, it's not reduced to a periodic orbit, non-trivial. And then we can, uh, there exists a non-trivial, uh, of course, minimal set which is, uh, can, sorry, this is contained in C with partial hyperbolic splitting and uh, uh, central is one dimension. And then to analyze the dynamics of center leaves at last to get a contradiction. This is uh, what uh, uh, the central model for, of, of uh, Gravesia tells us. So uh, now, 
put my or today my result is just for the partial answer to the step one, not uh, it's uh, nothing with step two. But for the this is for diffeomorphic case, but now we have a singularity. So the non-trivial case for fact fields has a singularity. So what does the passion harmonic spleen look like? Uh, so let's have a picture. This is a famous Lorenzo tractor, but this is too difficult to analyze. So we will use the geometric model of Lorenzo, Lorenzo tractor. So this is, uh, I think everybody, almost everybody know this picture. But I, I should emphasize something, and I will come back to this picture later. Oh, you, so this, uh, the attractor, uh, the attractor looks like uh, a boat, and this is uh, like a, sorry. Okay, so this is the main result. This, this is a rough statement, uh, not so precise. So we take a C1 general vector, which is far from, which is far from most smell system and hostile. So in something we assume that weak density conjecture is not, uh, is not true. So we, take, we can take such a kind of uh, vector field. And, this <coughs> and then for any uh, such kind of vector field, uh, this vector field has a singularity such that the chain class contain, uh, contains sigma is non-trivial. Uh, the conclusion uh, further, uh, every singularity in this chain class has a same index. The, the index here will mean the uh, dimension of the uh, uh, stable bundle of, uh, of sigma, since we, always, we can always assume sigma is hyponic. That means, oh, okay, uh, and every singularity is Lorentz-like. I, I will give it a, a definition uh, later. And uh, the chain class admits uh, passion hyponic split. So it's in the uh, spirit of the step one. We prove some partial hyponic split. I will, I will give a precise statement later for the partially hyponic split. <coughs> okay, first I will uh, explain the so-called Rollins-like. So give a, singular, a hyponic singularity, we list the number of exponents of, at sigma s lambda s to lambda d with multi, multiplicity. So the set value of sigma is defined as the nearest uh, uh, two eigenvalue, which is to, uh, the, the, the largest uh, uh, negative uh, number of exponents and the smallest uh, positive near proof exponents, we take the sum of these two near proof exponents. So the, the symbol of the, uh, the sign, the sign of the set value is very important in the following. So we see uh, the singularity is Lorentz-like uh, if the uh, set, value, set value is not equal to zero. For example, we assume it's greater than zero. So, <laughs> And the stable bundle of, of sigma can be split into the direct sum of two sub-bundles, such that the central bundle is, uh, is one-dimensional. And of course, this co-dimensional one uh, uh, with, with respect to the, uh, to the state bundle. And, uh, and another one condition is that we uh, the strong, uh, the strong state manifold of sigma intersect the chain class in at only one point. At only this, let me have a look back to the, to the to the geometric Lorentz attractor. So this is a strong stable manifold. They will intersect the tract only at this singularity. So we collect these two conditions as the. Uh, of course, a singularity satisfying these two conditions, Lorenz-like, it's uh, like the singularity in the Lorenz attractor. So, 
Okay, more. This is more precise for the statement. The first one, it's uh, first two is, are the same as previous. So, if the set value, this is uh, for the passion hyper splitting. So, if the set value is greater than zero, then we get such kind of for uh, splitting, and uh, the the bundle is uh, uh, this the strong stable uh, bundle uh, is. Uh, is one dimension less than the uh, state bound of singularity, and this is a uh, similarly. If if the set value less than zero, so if if the uh, chain class contains a large singularity, which uh, whose set value is uh, is uh, in uh, the sign of the the, uh, the set value is different from the sign of the set value of sigma, then we will get such kind of uh, uh, partial hyperbolic splitting. This the center has two dimension, has two dimension, and uh, I think this is the best uh, uh, at this uh, this kind of uh, partial hyperbolic splitting is the best we can we can get since uh, we have only one possible uh, long. Uh, only, uh, only one possible possible uh, zero Lyapunov of exponents. I mean, module at the flow direction. So this is the best uh, uh, partial hypothesis we can get. Um, but uh, it's not. It's still not so uh, uh, so good since in in. If we assume the, it has two such kind of singularity, we can get such a kind of uh, uh, splitting. But if we consider only one singularity, what can we see? We, we don't know in, in general case, but in four dimensional case, we can, we can get more detailed statement for the result. But anyway, the, the, the next result is not corollary of the theorem one, so I state as theorem two. The first two are the same, so we can see the single the index of the singularity. If the index, this is a four dimension, four dimensional. So now from now on we will concentrate we will concentrate on four dimensional because I never talk about uh, uh, high than four dimensional case. So if the singularity, uh, the index of a singularity is three, then it's uh, of course it's uh, it's well known that it's the upper of stable. Uh, the approach stable since the approach stable is very uh, important uh, concept in the volume so I forgot to give the, the definition so we give a, a compact set this is a complex I mean variant set uh, it's called the approach stable the approach stable if for any neighborhood U of lambda, there exist there exist neighborhood V of lambda V of lambda such that the positive orbit in V is contained in U. For any t greater than zero, and that means this is a, this is the invariant set for any neighborhood you you can find using it's a small one v such that every orbit in the in the small neighborhood cannot go outside the the big neighborhood. It's always contained in this neighborhood. This is a so-called the approach stable. And this condition for C1 general case is, is equivalent to so-called quasi-attractor. It's equivalent for C1 generic. It's equivalent to quasi-attractor. That means you can find a, often you can find a less to the trapping region. Such that, for example, phi, okay, 
nest trapped in region the, uh, uh, it's small and small, and the intersection is lambda and phi t. For any say t greater than one, so it's a trapping region for the flow, and uh, it's uh, smaller and smaller. So uh, in C1 general case, the equivalent, okay. So let's come back. Uh, if the index uh, sigma, uh, the index of sigma is three, then that means the uh, uh, the dimension of unstable manifold, uh, unstable bundle of sigma just one. So the unstable manifold is contained in the in the chain class. So the chain class is non trivial. So it's Laplace stable. This is, and in this case we get such a kind of. Uh, uh, such a kind of splitting. And now you, you know, this is two dimensional. This is also two dimensional. So this is the best, uh, best uh, uh, partial hyperbolicity we, 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 we can expect. So for the index one case, it's uh, almost equivalent to the first one since you can see the, you just can see the back and the back it and the, reverse the flow direction. And uh, the third one is more interesting. Later, we will we'll spend some time on this case. For index two, index two, we we'll assume uh, the settlement is greater than zero. Then, according to the, the previous uh, result, uh, we we'll get, we'll get such kind of splitting. But this is one dimensional. The strong stable is one dimensional. This is three dimensional. But now we can prove it's volume expanding. Volume expanding means it has at least one non zero air proof exponents. So it's, uh, this is very important. And uh, this is very interesting. Th this chain class could not be air proof stable. That means, the, uh, uh, of course, in this uh, circumstance, this is not. Uh, there's a such kind of uh, uh, with unstable dimension uh, great. Uh, there's a so-called Lorentz-like character with unstable dimension greater than one. But uh, for our case, this chain class could not be near proof stable. Uh, so th this is the same. So need a. Uh, 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 so I, I talk about uh, give a corollary. This is a real corollary, just a corollary of the proof. So for C1 generic field, if the uh, fact field uh, has a single with index two, if the chain class is in the stable, that means the set value of sigma is greater than zero, and uh, uh, single hybonic. Then See, then the chain class contains periodic orbits with complex eigenvalue. Should be complex. Of course, complex uh, eigenvalue in the unstable uh, uh, bundle. So uh, what's a single hybonic? So following more or less specific or Pujols, we called a compact invariant set uh, of the effect view single hybonic if we can find uh, uh, invariant partial hyponic splitting for the tangent for the tangent flow, such that this one is uniform contracting and this one is so called uh, sectional expanding. Sectional expanding. So for four dimension, it's just area expanding. If this is it's just two dimension, that means it's area expanding. But if the dimension is uh, higher than two. Then it's, uh, the condition is so called sectional expansion. That means for any two dimensional subspace, uh, the tangent flow restricted to the uh, two dimensional space is uniformly area expanding. Okay, uh, this is what uh, I mean. The, the Bolatti, uh, Pium, Reno, and uh, Viana construct a, a attractor, attracts a, a, a such kind of attractor. So we, the, according to the corollary, the, the, the periodic, we, 
there exists a periodic orbit uh, in the tract uh, such that uh, the, 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 the unstable, uh, unstable eigenvalues are complex. So let me say more about the, this kind of attractor. So this is uh, the three-dimensional Lorenz attractor. It's very easy to construct uh, uh, a four-dimensional Lorenz attractor. Just put a, a very, very strong contraction. Then, so you can increase increase the dimension of the stable direction. Very, it's obvious, but it's not so easy to increase the the the, the dimension of the unstable uh, direction. This is what the contribution of the, this paper. They construct such kind of uh, kind of a chart, but uh, according to our corollary, uh, there's some real restriction on the, on the, on the, on the periodic orbits. So, and also, the, uh, in fact, um, it's almost at the same time, uh, Mornes and uh, Pujols uh, also uh, write a, wrote a paper on on the such kind of uh, Lorenz chart. They suspected if all this kind of uh, uh, chart have homogeneous tendency. Of course, the example tells tells that uh, they may they may have low tendency, but uh, so. So we have for four-dimensional case, we have such kind of uh, partially hyperbolic splitting. This is one-dimensional, this is three-dimensional. So we have low tangency, with re of course, with respect to the uh, uh, with respect to the uh, uh, the periodic orbits. It, after some more perturbation, you have tangency with singularity. So we just uh, I talk about the tangents of, of periodic orbit. But this is the finest dominate split. This is the finest dominate split. I mean, for the singular attractor. So it could not be split into fine, for example, C plus. You, you. It could not be split again. This is the, what the color tells us. OK, let's consider, continue. So there's a related uh, conjecture. Is, uh, this is a very, very uh, strong conjecture. Uh, the, the conjecture claim that every non-trivial singular chain class contains periodic orbits. So it's a homogeneous class. So if this, this is a very strong con, uh, conjecture. If the, if this conjecture is true, the, it will imply the, the weak density conjecture for, for, for weak density conjecture balance. Of course, uh, with the help of uh, central mode of Carvedia, sure. So it's uh, since it will imply if the chain class is non-trivial contains periodic orbit, then it's a homogeneous class, of course. And uh, it will imply the existence of horseshoe, and uh, then imply the weak density conjecture. So this is a very, very strong conjecture. Of course, it's open, even for a three-dimensional case. But uh, in our, uh, when we solve the, the weak density conjecture for three-dimensional vector field, we solve, the, we solve this problem under the this kind of splitting, this kind of partial hyperbolic splitting. Here is one dimension, here is two dimensional. But for, ge for general case, we don't know. This is a, for, for three dimensional. But for singular, uh, I mean, this is a, for the volatile conjecture. So for singular hyperbolic case, if the class, for gen this is for, for any, oh, it's okay. Uh, if the class is the upper of stable, then the answer is yes. I mean, for the polaris conjecture. So for three-dimensional, I think it's a result of for uh, uh, more or less and the Pacific. And for general case, uh, 
it's a, a result of Viola and uh, Jia Gang Yang. Mm, it's, uh, I learned this from a lecture uh, at the impasse internet, uh, the web of impasse. And uh, of course, Jia Gang told me. <laughs> and uh, they re reproved this result uh, uh, very, uh, almost at the same time, I think. Uh, and I will mention the, the method uh, in that paper later. I think, OK, let me go fast. So this conjecture, of course, uh, it, it's even for the single hyperbolic case, it's open for the set of class. For saddle, saddle means it's not a near plus stable. It's also not a near plus stable for minus x. We don't know. So the, if, if you have such kind of a good splitting, for example, if you have a very, very good splitting, this is a one dimensional, one dimensional, two dimensional, and uh, of course, of a chain class. If, if uh, you assume it's, for example, it's uh, area expanding, we don't know the answer. So it's, uh, if you, in some sense, single hyponic, it's, uh, it's very, very uh, um, close to hyponic. But in this case, we, we found that it's very different. So, OK, let's uh, talk about more about the proof. So this is, we'll use the so-called linear panga flow. Uh, this is a tangent flow. So, this is the normal bound of the, of the vector field. That means it's uh, the normal bound at x consists of vector field, which is orthogonal to the, back, uh, to the uh, flow directing to the vector field, to the vector at x. So the linear panda flow is that we can see any vector field which is uh, orthogonal to the flow direction and can see the image of uh, its image on the tangent flow. Of course, the, uh, the image user is not orthogonal to the flow direction here, and then we take the uh, orthogonal projection to the normal bundle. This is a so-called linear panga flow. And, uh, but, uh, uh, okay, this is a, a basic property for the linear, uh, um, for the linear panga flow. This theorem, uh, uh, this theorem was proved by, uh, for different morphism, but, uh, but uh, I think uh, it's, uh, the idea is all, it's almost the same according to the Frank's number of flow. But the Frank's number of flows usually is not so easy uh, to stay. Uh, to, to state, uh, of course, it's not so easy to prove. For. Anyway, we have such kind of uh, uh, Frank's number. So this is a, a translated from the different morphism case. The, you can, if here, HT means uh, the set of vector field with a tangency associated to a periodic orbit, just associated to, to a periodic orbit. So assume the vector field is far from tangency. That, uh, then there exists a neighborhood of uh, the vector field and a uniform t greater than zero such that for any hyponic periodic orbit of the, the small perturbation such that the period is greater than t, then we have a such a kind of domination over the uh, periodic orbit. This is uniformly for all periodic orbit of the system and its small perturbation. So it's very strong, uh, uh, strong, uh, domination of a periodic orbit. Here is, is uh, we can see that uh, the hyponic splitting for the normal bundle. Okay. We want to use this kind of uh, domination, but uh, now we have singularity. You know that the, the normal, the, the linear panda flow is not defined over on singularity. So if, if, if the, if the, point, if the sequence tends to the singularity, how to use this kind of information? How to use this kind of information? This, this is what we do uh, for the extent. This is the aim of the extended linear panga flow. So it's not, it's defined, the linear panga flow 
it's undefined on a, a long compact set, but it has as a lateral compactification. We call this compactification extended linear Planck flow. So we, what's the what's it's a compactification? So we can see that the projected bundle that means that uh, uh, consists of, of one dimensional subspace of the tangent bundle, and uh, this is grass is kind of a grass manifold. So we denote this the projection uh, the the boundary projection. So and then we can see the pullback of the tangent bundle. So tangent bundle is, uh, is of M, so we can pull back to a bundle over the projective bundle, pro the projective bundle. So pro the pullback is a subset of for the product space. So we can see that the, this is a one-dimensional space L, and V is a vector field in, in, the, in, the, in the tangent bundle. And the pullback means that they have the same base point. So we assume this is a, the norm bundle of this pullback. We, we can say the uh, sub bundle of the, pull, the pullback, such that the the vector field is uh, pep, is orthogonal to the base point. So this, uh, uh, and then you can uh, you can easily define the extended linear Planck flow over this large uh, the large bundle. So. Uh, just uh, if you can see the flow direction, at, uh, the, if the vector field, the long, uh, long zero vector will generate a one dimensional subspace, so it can, can be naturally embedded in this flow. This is what we call extended in the Planck flow. And now if we discuss dominated uh, around a uh, singularity, we will always use the extended in the Planck flow. This uh, very. Uh, I think I'm too slow. So first, we will prove we pro so-called Lorentz like that. We, this is a very simple observation. This is a, a three-dimensional uh, diagram. But uh, from this diagram, you, you, we can, you can find uh, this is uh, the, the compactification <coughs> of, at a singularity. So this is uh, at uh, at the tangent bundle, uh, at the tangent space at singularity. And then I think uh, I have no time to explain this. OK, just skip it. Uh, the second one is to consider the homogeneity of singularity. We, we just, if, if you have two kind, if you have two singularity with different uh, with different index, this is uh, index two, and this is index one. Then you just do uh, connect it to a loop, to a, a heterocanonical loop by by, uh, by connecting them. It's possible uh, uh, anyway. And then you choose two uh, two orbit arc here and here, and then you. After four small perturbation, you, you, you transfer this to a periodic orbit. And then by choice, by a proper choice of the, the, the length of the, the orbit, this orbit arc and this orbit arc, you can, you can give the contradiction. Of course, it's not so easy to escape it. OK. At last, we want we gave some idea to prove that if the index is just index of sigma is two, it's not Lyapunov stable. So I assume on the count, uh, on the count you assume it's Lyapunov stable, we'll get a contradiction. So we should, we'll prove this is impossible. So I assume it's Lyapunov stable, then every singularity is also uh, index two, we, we, since we already proved it's the homogeneous. And the set value is greater than zero, since the stable, unstable manifold of uh, uh, it's contained in the uh, chain class, so it should be greater than zero. If less than zero, we will get a contradiction immediately. The local star property is um, uh, that means uh, you, you can find a neighborhood of the vector field such that 
and periodical bit uh, contain the small neighborhood of the uh, chain class and uh, for any small perturbation, it's hyponic. So I try to prove this. This, uh, if you have proof of this, then you can use some previous result to show it's single harmonic. And then, since it's uh, a Lyapunov stable, single harmonic uh, means the existence of a uh, periodic orbit. So we'll get the contradiction. Okay, I have no time to mention the result, the um, favorite result of Bellati and Danos. Okay, nice. So if it's not, uh, if the star proof, is not satisfied, and then you always have a two-one domination. Of course, first you have a one-two domination. But if it's not, if the local star property is not satisfied, you will find a minor domination, and then you you give a, a, a splitting for the unstable bound of the singularity. Of course, contained. You can find such a kind of set. This set. Uh, According to this property, it's not the whole set. It's not the whole chain class. And then you get such a kind of uh, uh, splitting. You can prove that every long trivial environment is supported and the uh, uh, chain class should be supported on the small set. And then you get the splitting over the whole chain class, such kind of the, the CO bundle is volume expanding. And then, of course, we have used some Sabinic measure and entropy. I, I just uh, give you have a look at it, and uh, I think I'll stop here. Thank you very much.